Utah's Division of Wildlife Resources is trapping and relocating prairie dogs in southern Utah. The DWR started doing this yesterday and they picked the efforts back up today. So the DWR says there are three prairie dog species in Utah, but the only ones that are on the endangered species list and they're considered threatened on that list are the Utah prairie dogs currently threatened. They are only found in southwestern Utah. Special little critters. So we want to go in depth on this and we're joined live by Adam Cavalunas. He is a prairie dog specialist and biologist at Utah's Division of Wildlife Resources. Adam, so glad you can join us. Okay, I, these prairie dogs, the Utah prairie dog, what, what makes them special? So they are one of three species of prairie dogs we have here in Utah. Uh, they are isolated uh, down in southwestern Utah. They only exist uh, west of the Colorado River and south of I-70. And these guys are the, they're, they're, they're the smallest of those three kinds, aren't they? They're, they're, they're little. They're, they're little. Yep, they're the smallest of, of, of all prairie dogs and they're kind of a, a subspecies of white-tailed prairie dogs. Okay, okay. why is it important to, uh, to round these guys up? Well, translocating prairie dogs accomplishes kind of a twofold purpose. Uh, we remove the animals from areas where they can create conflicts with humans, such as agriculture and development. Uh, and we take them to public lands where they are afforded greater protections and much fewer interactions with humans. Okay, so uh, they they have in in the past um, they were kind of they they were put onto the endangered list uh, originally when the endangered species law was passed because they were considered a nuisance, right? They were kind of just just being eradicated. Correct. Back in the early 1900s, they estimate populations at, at near 100,000 animals. So at that time, they were looked at as a pest. Yeah, but but no no longer looked at that way, except that a prairie dog. I mean, I, the prairie dogs probably think the farmers are the ones messing with their land. But but if you if you have a farm or or, or something that you're trying to cultivate, uh, prairie dogs can uh, they they disrupt the ground, right? Is that so? So sometimes you have to remove them because they're a problem that way. Correct. They're probably the, the, the largest problem for our agriculture producers here in southwestern Utah. They love, uh, you know, succulent, succulent forage and of course alfalfa fields are full of that. Oh, wow. Okay. So um, is the drought causing any problems with uh, the population now? Sure. Uh, I mean, we've had a series of very warm, dry summers and when that happens, you know, prairie dogs enter the winter months in poor condition. Uh, and then consequently, you know, when they emerge in the spring, they're not in great health. And if you combine that with a dry spring, you know, the cycle just repeats itself. To a large degree, I know in the last uh, 40 or more years, you and your colleagues, it's been a real success story. Uh, their numbers have, have risen. Is that happening right now or is, are, are there increased challenges right now? Challenges right now. Well, our numbers peaked back in 2015. That was the most animals we had ever counted since they were listed. Um, but for the last six years, our numbers have been coming back down. Um, and that's typical of a species like prairie dogs. You know, they are cyclical in nature, so their numbers will rise for a few years and then they drop off. Um, and we're just hoping that we see those numbers start to pick up again soon. And, and you keep track of those numbers pretty closely and also track the, the prairie dogs themselves. What, um, a, a, as you look at that, how does that, uh, how does that help you? What do you specifically look for? Well, one of the things we've been doing recently is we've been uh, studying our translocation efforts. So when we do trap these animals, we take them out to public lands. And ideally, we'd, ideally we'd like to have as many of these survive as possible. So um, we are doing some research right now and then trying to figure out what happens when we release these animals. Are they dispersing right away? Uh, are predators a, a, a continuing problem to kind of, you know, pick them off once they enter these new habitats? So uh, we really want to increase our success with translocation efforts. And is, you know, e even though their their farmers don't like them because they don't want them to eat their crops, um, I mean, they, they, they evolved in this area. They must do some good for the environment and our ecosystem. Sure. I mean, we, we consider prairie dogs like a keystone species. Um, which means they have a much larger impact on the ecosystem than their size would suggest. Uh, they're a prey base for all sorts of animals, including raptors and coyotes and badgers. Um, they help turn over the soil and create a more nutrient-rich environment. Um, there's research that shows animals like bison and antelope preferentially will graze in areas around prey dogs. Um, they also provide a home for all sorts of things, um, a lot of the little creepy crawlies, spiders, scorpions, and snakes and such. And uh, they, uh, you, you have some particular places in the state where you think, okay, these public lands will be really great for them. So uh, where, where are they found now and, and, and where are you introducing them? 
Um, they're found pre predominantly in, in three counties, um, Iron County, Garfield County, and Wayne County. Um, there are some smaller populations in Kane, Paiute, Sevier, and Beaver County. Um, roughly two thirds of all prairie dogs are found on private lands. Um, so that's why you know a large time, large part of our time is spent trying to move animals from private and take them to public lands um, where they can you know, leave, live peacefully. All right. Well, we're out of time, but I do want to. I, I do want to ask one last question. Someone who's devoted a lot of his life to prairie dogs. What do you like about them? What, what's, what's something you really like about prairie dogs? Uh, I mean, they're an incredibly fun animal to watch. Um, of course, we spend a lot of our time counting colonies and observing prairie dogs. Uh, they're an extremely social critter. Um, they interact all the time. They have numerous vocalizations. Uh, they play with each other. So uh, they're just a neat animal to watch. Oh, fantastic. All right. Well, I, Adam Cavalunas uh, from the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources, thank you for that. Thanks for, uh, thanks for protect, protecting the little uh, critters. And, uh, and, and uh, appreciate you taking some time with us.